Hi, I'm Josh Sullins and I'm running for District 4 School Board. Uh, first and foremost, uh, service to the community. Uh, we're not looking at uh, the difference between a, uh, a, a politician and a statesman. You have a uh, politician who's looking out for their own self-interest. Mine is motivated that of a statesman for the uh, service of the community. Uh, belief in public education. I, I am a public educated. I believe in public education. I think that the for the the two forms of government that have to uh, act correctly and most efficiently is uh, law and order, your sheriff and your judges and your school. Those allow the rest of the community and the other functions to thrive. Uh, I also believe uh, God is essential to the community uh, as well, but that's done mostly through the pastors and the churches and the outreach to the community. Uh, I want to share my time and talents uh, uh, with the community as well and I think I can be effective in, in that, this role. Uh, Self-interest, I have a, uh, a child on the way. Uh, so, the, so maintaining and improving the, the strong education system here, uh, it, it directly affects me and will affect me for the foreseeable future. Uh, lastly, uh, curriculum influence. Uh, I want to make sure that basic truths aren't being thrown away for political gain. A vote for me for, is one for passion, uh, to strive for efficiency and, pur and pursuit of excellence. People know me would say I'm fair but firm, attentive to the, uh, the task put before me and serious about executing the role that I'm placed in. Uh, as far as what I bring to the table is experience with business, management, uh, construction experience, and uh, military past experience. Those are all critical in the operations of the school district. Uh, I have the demonstrated ability of working with people from various backgrounds and personalities to plan and achieve goals. Well, the primary role is outlined in their general operations. Uh, it's to oversee and operate the school district in compliance with state and federal laws. Uh, uh, the most critical of the items uh, that I see is employing and evaluating the director of the schools. Uh, approval and adoption of a budget, developing and, and adapting a strategic plan in, consulta in consultation with the director of schools, and then also uh, ad adopting a curriculum. I think seeking, listening, and receiving public in input, observations, and identifying issues. Also, listening to our, our forces on the ground, listening to our teachers, our principals, and our school leadership. The professionals that are on the ground are our biggest resources for not only identifying the problems and issues, but also helping to cultivate solutions. Uh, maintaining, as far as uh, I like maintaining a drug prevention, uh, there there was a gap a drug drug prevention program. My understanding is there was a gap in this for a long time, uh, and the county commission has set aside some money and given it for a pilot program that's in 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 effect now. I. I would like if I would like to make sure that we do not that we can create a policy or even work with the county commission to create a le uh, uh, legislation, whichever vehicle that does not allow for that gap to ever occur again. I, I, I don't I don't think that you can understate uh, not having uh, those the, that being reinforced at a young age. It's a building block and a foundation. Uh, I think there's initi initiatives that can be taken, taken on, such as leveraging online surveys and evaluations to increase the citizen input, using online resources uh, to, make uh, to make meetings easily accessible. Right now they have U YouTube as well. Right now I think I'm one of maybe 12 or 11 viewers that watch it, but I just making sure we get that out there, that that is a resource that's available. And then reiterate, reiterate a point about um, getting in, making it easy, like a Dropbox online or somewhere for people to, you know, request information or, or give their opinion. So the, the public can, can be sent at home and, and while they have a minute in between uh, their kids playing or watching TV and they see something that day, they can, they can input that in fairly easy. I think uh, the mo one of the most critical is uh, cr creating equality for uh, social e for low social economic students. Um, I myself was public educated and didn't come from means, 
uh, I think creating an environment that they can thrive in is probably one of, is a key goal, and it's, and and not being trying to think out think of ways to accomplish that by just throwing money at the situation. Uh, I, I, I like the uh, CTE programs, and I think um, I think that is that is very important as far as. Uh, creating that, that that they have an equal set stepping stone um, maintaining a safe environment uh, for students uh, you know you're like who's gonna argue with safety that's a good tagline but at the end of the day I think we have to be vigilant in the pursuit of this because some sometimes I think that we feel like we've met a goal and just maintaining it but being vigilant in that and an ever adapting society and environment is key uh, student this is another one students mental health with the um, in the development their mental health and development with the culture of the online culture. There's so much unseen uh, digital interaction. You know, you know, when I went to school, if somebody was getting bullied, you could see them in the hallway getting stuffed in the locker. You know, I'm just throwing out whatever. But now there's so much unseen that's on digital. I'm not saying we can police everything, but you know, that that's a big issue. I mean, there's bullying, harassment. Uh, their their mental state based on their impact of their online experience that only th they're experiencing but the peers around them and the teachers around them have can't see I mean they can't see everything obviously but um, and the lack of the 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 development of the verbal communication uh, interacting somebody's on their phone all the time and being able to interact and develop that way I mean that's a big big um, big uh, a big concern uh, for me, but uh, you know, I think that's a major thing that's faced, uh, and the list goes on and on and on as far as the, the online impact. Uh, I mean, you can go into distant learning and how that and how that affects. Well, but I think that that's a that's a big one. And then, uh, well, lastly, is effectively maintaining uh, the school's infrastructure so they are the longest possible resource for the county. These these schools weren't built in 1992. They weren't built in you know 82. They're they're older. So I think we do. I think we have a uh, uh, you know capital projects and a maintenance team that does a does a heck of a job at just supporting them and making sure. I mean, making sure they're the longest possible resource for the county. So the stewards of the money. Part of that is preventative maintenance or you know, just maintenance throughout, or solving a problem before it becomes a major problem.